Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 17 in Be With Me. We're in 1 Timothy, and today we're going to talk about deceitful, demonic doctrine devotion. And the reason we're going to talk about it is because Paul talks about the same thing to Timothy, to help him, to warn him, to steer him clear. Now, yesterday we talked uh, a great deal about the doxology of Jesus and how fabulous he is. And we learned that what is required of me is to believe and agree and confirm what was required of him. And in doing so, I confess that this is great. I magnify, I glorify him. So Jesus leaves us with kind of one small thing after doing all that amazing stuff, and that is to confess that this is great. Now today, we're going to talk about bad teaching from bad teachers. This is from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in latter times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. Then it's going to describe their doctrine. Who forbid marriage and require abstinence from foods that God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it's to be received with thanksgiving. For it is made holy by the word of God and prayer. So it's talking about some bad guys who are doing some bad teaching. So let's talk about this bad teaching. The way I like to think about this passage is you have this one square, and on the on the good square, you've got truth and Jesus and, and leaders who are teaching the truth, and then there's this other square, and there you have the leaders of that, and those guys are liars and uh, with seared consciousness and insincere uh, uh, character, and they are uh, unqualified, and they're teaching a doctrine that is actually from demons. So jumping from one square to another, it's a big deal, and that's what the passage is about today. So you have to leave the good teaching. You have to depart from it, says our passage. Some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves. So one is the departing, and the other one is about what are we devoted to? What do we apply ourselves to with affection? What gives? What do we give our attention to? What do we care for? What do we look out for with with sort of the energy of our heart. So either it's the truth and Jesus and the and the structure that the Lord has for his people or liars and demons and, and unqualified. So you have to leave good teaching, the good square, to go to the bad square. So receiving bad teaching means leaving the faith and devoting to, to deceitful spirits. So just right from the get-go, you're already... Uh, in error. So the, the, the caution here is uh, clearly don't do that. So leaving the Lord or leaving the truth, leaving the good Lord, it's deceitful. The, these are spiritual beings that are demonic. Think, listen to this. Some will depart from uh, the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. So this is not just sort of like a difference of opinion. These are demonic teachings uh, that people are being de- deceived into. So the devotion here goes from this good square to the bad square, and on the bad square is deceitful demons and deceitful demons and their doctrine and the devotion that 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 uh, bad teachers have towards it. It's really ter- sort of terrifying. So we just got done with going through ad nauseum the 15 qualifications of pastors and God is so careful about giving them the truth about having them have good reputations in their uh, in their nuclear families in their church families and even in in, in their communities even in the non-believing communities hopefully these these men are struck by their sin shattered by their encounters with Jesus and silenced by exposure to the word those are the people you want that are actually proclaiming the word or You could choose the bad square, and on the bad square, the leaders are liars. They're insincere, and their consciences are seared, which means like insensitive and unresponsive. And then it results in bad doctrine. So these guys forbid marriage. Well, nothing could be further from the character of God. He invented marriage. He 
he uh, applies himself to it. He goes to the wedding at Cana. He endorses it by that. It does his first miracle there. Um, and it's really, if you say God forbids marriage, it's almost like a repudiation of God himself. And then they make up food rules as if food gets us one inch closer to God as opposed to what believers should be doing, which is, which is to be thankful for all these good gifts of, of God and the goodness of God and the creation of God. So, he, he, like, right away, this person's into major foundational errors. Same errors that were in the Garden of Eden, by the way. It was wrong in the Garden, and it's, and it's wrong now. All right, so I can see why the church, you know, vigorously defends its doctrine, and, and particularly... Uh, against the doctrine that's devoted from demons and, and promulgated by liars who are insincere and have consciences which don't work anymore. You know, demonic teaching and deceitful uh, doctrine. This is in huge contrast to the good square of God's church. So the, the bottom line here today is that I don't think anybody sets out to swallow and you know, can you imagine calling up your mother one day on the on the phone and saying, "Hey, I'm devoted to deceitful demons and their doctrine." No, I think it happens like it does in Hebrews. The caution there is: take care, brothers, lest there be any in any of you evil, unbelieving hearts leading you to fall away from the living God. But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. So this is a serious. Uh, departing of people becoming care filled to liars and demons and unqualified and unconsciousness and uh, insincere leaders it's just it's a it's a terrible square to be on the call obviously is to be devoted to the lord be devoted to the lord's leaders be devoted to the lord's teachers Remember the Lord, he's good, he came for you, he came for me, he's the creator. He put pastors there and qualified them to be in a position and platform them so that they could teach the gospel of truth, as opposed to being devoted to deceitful demons whose doctrine is taught by liars and insincere people with bad consciousness. Put it like that, my suggestion is, let's stay devoted to the Lord. Let's apply ourselves to him. Let's give attention and care for his word and his leaders. Thanks for listening.